guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Lillian and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how I installed this wig this wig is from Wigstone they sponsored this video so shout out to them I have to say the install it was a very long process because everything kept messing up from the hairspray to the glue and everything so I was very scared of how it would turn out but as you can see it turned out amazing I am obsessed with this hair so if you want to hear my full thoughts on this wig, make sure to keep on watching. Okay, don't mind my hair. It is very uneven. I still need to get a professional haircut. Um, I've trimmed it a few times since I've done the big chop, but it's just growing so fast as you can see. Um, and it's very uneven, so please don't mind my hair. Anyways, today's video is sponsored by Wigstone. They sent me their wig, they sent me their Kimberly unit, which is a deep wave HD lace wig. Now this is the first time that I'm working with HD lace, so I'm excited to see how it goes. Let me just put on a wig cap because this hair <laughs> is doing too much. Is it just me or have these wig caps changed lately because I swear they used to be bigger. I used to be able to put them all over my face. I'm just laying my edges back with this Cantu Flex Seed Smoothing Cream Gel. Now this product right here is from their new collection. I don't usually use Cantu but this one is really good and it has good ingredients. It literally defines your curls in like two seconds. It's actually crazy. So this is all I use when I style my hair. There we go, the hairs are all tugged in now as you can see and we can move on. <laughs> so this is what the wig looks like, it's a deep wave 22 inch HD lace wig. I bleached the knots and I also plucked the hairline a little as you can see. Uh, the hairline was pretty natural on its own so that was nice. The only thing is I feel like the knots didn't bleach that well. I don't know if you can see but I feel like some of the knots didn't take the bleach as well. It's not a big deal because I'm still gonna put foundation on it so that will make it look a lot more natural. Um, but yeah, other than that the wig was really nice, the hair was soft, it felt really thick when I was washing it as well because sometimes once the hair is wet it's like a thin piece of hair but with this, uh, with this wig it felt very thick. Only comments I would have is that I wish there was a little more lace to hold on to for when I install the wig. So there's this much lace, about two, cent two to three centimeters, but then again it's alright, like you don't need that much more, but sometimes it's nice to have a bit more lace so you can hold on to it. Uh, other than that, I'm really happy with the plucking. The wig already came with a very natural hairline. It was not like round. So I only plucked a few layers to make the hairline a little thinner. But other than that, I didn't do much to the wig. I'm gonna start off with putting foundation on my wig cap and on the inside of the wig. So I think two weeks before this video is going to be out, I did a water wave wig install which was a closure wig, which was my first closure wig. So this is a lace wig. So that means that from ear to ear, I have lace that I can play with. So that means that I can do side parts, middle parts, half up, half downs, all of that stuff. Whereas with a closure wig, you can only do a middle part. It's non-versatile to say the least. This wig is much more versatile, but it is also a bit more work. So if you're the type of person that wants to take a wig off at the end of every day, then a closure wig would be more ideal for you because it's just a small part of lace. But if you want to put on a wig, glue it down and wear it for a week or longer, then this would be the better wig for you. Also, you could put this wig on and off every day if you do a glueless install. I'm just not that good at it so I'm not even going to try. <laughs> okay, so I've applied foundation to the inside of the wig and my wig cap. And I'm just going to spray a little bit of hairspray to basically seal in the foundation uh, so that the glue will stick on better. And then we blow dry. By the way, what I really appreciate about this wig is that there is an elastic band, first of all. Second of all, it's adjustable, so it's basically like a bra strap where you have different hooks that you can hook it onto so that it's tighter or looser and you can also take it off like there is a small hook on the side that you can hook it onto if you want it on 
or you can take the elastic band off. So I really appreciate that because uh, the other water wave wig that I had had an elastic band but it was way too loose so it was basically there for nothing. So yeah, I really appreciate this. Actually I might take off the elastic band because I'm going to glue it down anyways. But if you want to do a glueless install, it's important to make sure that your wig is on tight. So this will definitely help with that. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that it fits good properly over your hairline. Yeah, I'm feeling this vibe already. What I'm going to do first is clean my hairline with some alcohol. Okay, now I'm going to spray my first layer around the hairline and dry it till it's almost dry and then add a second layer and then dry it until it's tacky. Then I tell her me she give her never trust another nigga I say she give me from the nigga Say she feeling on the nigga Say she run another nigga I Who's that? Baby tell me who's that? Look back, baby make you look back I Move that, where you move that? Touch that, baby me just wanna touch that Then tell me red eye Now you they mash up the place I Then tell me red eye Cause you are what see me red eye Okay, so this install is a bit messy because I don't know why to be honest, but this spray is like messing everything up. Anyways, I am going to lay it down with a scarf. You want to get it as tight as possible. So I'm going to lay this with a scarf for a bit to really make it melt because it's not doing the best right now. And I'm just going to go over it with my blow dryer and the back of my comb to really press it down. I do love this hair. Look how full it looks. I think with the last water wave wig I tried to do a little bit of a wet look but I do like how full this looks so. Okay so I'm gonna leave this on for about 10 to 15 minutes to really make it melt as much as possible and then I'm going to cut off the lace. Okay so I kept this on for almost 30 minutes because I was on the phone and now I'm going to cut off the lace with an eyebrow razor. Let me actually brush out the hairs first because the hairspray gets all up in the hairs and it makes it really crusty. There we go, this is what it's looking like. Now the other side. There we go. Now I'm just going to go back in with the got to be glue gel to kind of lay down the edges of the lace a little bit. Okay, so this is what the install is looking like right now. I'm just going to grab my bronzer. I don't know what I think of the install. It was a bit messy. I feel like I just need to invest in like a good wig glue. But for now, it is what it is. I think I'm going to do a side part because I really like the volume of this wig. I don't think I'm even going to wet this hair. Um, after I washed it, I put a little bit of leave-in conditioner in it just to keep the hair moisturized. Uh, but other than that, I didn't do much to it. it. This is its natural texture and I really like it. So I'm just going to make, I don't know if I even should make like a proper side part or just have it like this. I think I'm just going to go over the roots with my hot comb. So just like this. Because I feel like there's a little part here that is not supposed to be there. And I'm going to make some baby hairs. 
them I want them I take up. Bad man, me I come in, me I wanna take up. Girls, them I come, them I want in on the liquor. I steady sipping on my liquor. Then I tell her me she give I never trust another nigga. I so she give me fun. I am actually loving this install. This is just a sign that you should trust the process because just like makeup, when you're installing a wig, it might look ugly at first. But the end result, it will look good, trust me. So I sprayed this part a little bit with water just to define the curls a little more because I brushed it out too much. So this is the end result. I'm really obsessed with this hair. First of all, the volume is insane. And it's so like, like I can do this. This is what people do with their own hair, not with wigs. So I really, really am obsessed with this wig. Thank you again to Wigstone for sending me this wig. It's, it's just amazing. It's giving me summer vibes. Like I'm ready to take some pics with this hair. And uh, I just love it. The install turned out really good. The HD lace, this was my first time working with HD lace. Even though the install was a bit messy, the spray was getting messed up with the hair. Uh, the lace still melted very nicely, I would say. So I am going to actually try to sleep with this wig and keep it on for a few days because as you guys know, I don't like sleeping with wigs. I take them off the same day, even when I do this whole install. Uh, but this one, I'm gonna try to keep it for as long as possible. Uh, so yeah, I am really happy with how this turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I hope you guys are liking the wig videos again. I really enjoy these wig install videos because I love trying out new looks and playing around with different looks. Um, and on top of that, they're sponsored, so if you want to support me, if you want to support my channel, make sure to share this video, like it, comment, interact, engage with me, so that we can get more sponsorships, because I still have to pay my bills, you know? <laughs> Hopefully one day I can do YouTube full-time. Until then, yes, I do sponsored videos, but I only do them with brands that I actually, um... What do I say? How do I say it? Like I wouldn't do sponsored content with just any brand that I don't even use or am not familiar with. Even though I have sponsored content sometimes, I still share my honest opinions and I will always be honest. The brands that I work with know that and I only do sponsored videos with brands that I actually want to work with. I've already rejected a lot of offers simply because their product doesn't really align with my brand or their product doesn't really interest me or I feel like the, their product won't interest you guys uh, but I do get a lot of DMs and questions about wigs and hair and that type of stuff so that's why I feel like you guys like this content and I like playing around with different wigs I don't want to rant too long but yeah I am obsessed with this hair you will definitely see this wig more often on my Instagram and on my channel so if you don't follow me on my socials yet make sure to follow me at Lillian's Egg Guy make sure to subscribe if you haven't already thank you so much for your support it means so much to me I always do my best to reply to all of your comments and I think I'm doing a pretty good job um, and yeah I just love the fact that you guys take your time out to watch my videos and interact with me so thank you so much for all your support I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye!